Hey friends! Today I'm here to talk about and review Prudence by Gail Carriger. This is the first book in the Custer Protocol duology. Something I've also learned of after picking up this book is that it's the third, it's the first book of a third series in, that takes place in this world. So I didn't read the first two series that takes place. This is the third one. And I don't recommend doing that. It was a mistake. <laughs> which I'm going to get into a little bit more into my review. So first off, I want to say the writing in this book is just, it's spot on. It's perfect. You get a real good sense that Rue is this fancy, prissy British lady, and this book is told through her fancy, prissy British lady thoughts, and it's perfect. Like, it's written basically exactly how I figured that she would think. However, like, the first oh, half, maybe three quarters of this book is really slow. It's such a slog to get through. It's nothing really interesting happens and the last bit of the book a lot of stuff happens it happens a little fast but like it, it's a lot of stuff happens that's why I kind of like if you get through the first chunk the second chunk is much better the first chunk of the story spends most of its time talking about characters from the previous series and maybe if I had read those series and cared about them, I would care a little bit more. But since I hadn't read them, I didn't know who they were. It was just kind of like the entire first part of this book was basically just the author nudging me like, Hey, hey, remember that character? But I guess this is what they're doing now. This is what that character's up to now. And I'm just sitting there reading this book like, I, I don't care. What is Rue up to? Tell me what she and her friends are doing. I don't care about them. I want to know about her and her story. <laughs> but... I didn't get that for a long time, and even then, it was all just about the old characters, which, I mean, if it's all going to be about the old characters, why is this Custer Protocol book one and not Parasol Protectorate book whatever that was at? I liked some of the humor in this book. It's a pretty funny book for the most part. I like the interactions between characters, and I like how Rue, um her sort of like banter with certain characters, I don't like her romantic interests. I, did not like that whole story. It felt really weird because they kind of just hate each other and then all of a sudden, bam, they're making out. And I'm like, what the hell happened? Like, it just, it came out of nowhere. And I did not like that at all. I really liked Rue's relationship with her friend Prim. I felt they were just like, they were good friends. Prim was adorable. It just, it, it flowed really well together. Oh yeah, I was talking about the humor before I got derailed. The humor in this book is solid for the most part. I... Everyone, I watched a few reviews online of this before I recorded this, and everyone kept talking about how witty and everything this book is, but no one called attention to how many fart jokes there were in it, and that's not witty, that's not funny to me either. Like, you can't give me a book and tell me about how witty and sophisticated and funny it is, and then just have fart jokes littered throughout the whole goddamn thing. Like, that's not funny to me, that's stupid. Like, for the first chunk of the book, half of the jokes were the dirigible made fart noises and it made Rue uncomfortable. And it's like, that's not funny. It's not amusing. I didn't like it at all. It made me mad. I got really mad because it just, it happens so frequently. I enjoyed the more supernatural elements of this. This actually has werewolves in it that I don't despise because generally I just I hate werewolves in fiction. I just, I hate them. Uh, the werewolves in these ones weren't bad. They behaved like wolves, kind of. And I also liked how our main character, Rue, and I guess this is technically a spoiler for the Parasol Protectorate. I don't know, that's what someone had said, but like, I like how she doesn't have, she doesn't technically have her own supernatural powers. She steals powers from other people. And that's really neat because it, it's more of a situational thing and it puts her in more daemon, or more danger, potentially, than like a normal superhero or superhuman person would because like, if someone just has werewolf powers, they just have werewolf powers. You have to create a plot that puts them in danger even though they're a werewolf. Um, but in this one, she's just kind of a normal human for the most part. She can steal werewolf forms, but if there's no werewolves around her, she's just in normal danger with no form to steal. And it just, it makes for a more interesting read because she's a little bit more vulnerable that way and in that it makes it more entertaining and more realistic that she could be in danger. And I'm all about the high stakes when I read. I want people to be in serious danger. I want to sweat profusely as I get stressed out for characters that they may actually die. So all in all, this book was not a terrible read. It has some really poor jokes mixed in with some really funny things. The characters, for the most part, are kind of flat, but Rue is pretty alright. And 
The supernatural elements I felt really well written. There's a sequel to this one. I'm assuming they go to Egypt in it from the way this one ends. I don't know. They might. Um, I'm probably going to pick that book up, but I'm in no rush to get it. I'm also in no rush to get Parasol Protectorate or the YA series that she wrote. I might pick them up one day if I see them in the bookstore, but eh, I don't know. All in all, I gave this one three to five reads. It was not bad. It was not great. It was not bad. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.